Your grandfather showed me everything. Now I'm teaching you. We should have had more children. I think it's hard for Sabi. Feliz cumpleaños. I saw something. What did you see, Sabino? He didn't see anything because there's nothing out there. It's a beautiful place. How do I get there? Sabino, you can't go. It's dangerous for you. Sabino, you can't go. I'm telling you. I hate you. This life At some stage in our life is all I need. Each of our journeys will change can come back into me. I'm your father I'm just trying to protect you For mercy shown. You can't put my son in a prison my And we will be tested in ways Hurry up We could never imagine Sabi into the desert. I thought he would talk to you. Why he would do that? Because you're his father. It takes time to understand your parents. One day you will see it and you will know. Judy, Jeff in Las Vegas, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon to you. Where good morning. You? Good morning. I was going to say, where are you today? Uh, <laughs> Sydney. Sydney, <laughs> that is just so fascinating. Thank you so much for joining me today to talk about Chasing Wonders. I love this movie. What a beautiful film. Oh, thank you so much. I think um, the response from audiences has been quite wonderful. So, uh, you know, they, they, they really understand what it's about. I think they understand the humor, they understand the drama, um, they understand the heart in the film. Absolutely, it's a beautiful coming of age story. 12 year old Savino, I love how it's two parts. We see his story as a child and as a teenager. And I understand that this all began as an idea. Um, yes, it did. It began as an idea, and then, and then the secondary idea came um, to actually use the same actor, because so often they use a lookalike, and it just seemed like such a wonderful idea to actually. So we stopped the shooting completely for many years while he grew up and became the seventeen-year-old Savino which worked very well, I think. It was just so great to see the same actor doing it. And it's kind of surprising because you, the audience isn't aware of that. You're like, that looks just like, is it Michael Crisafuli? Is that how you say his name? Crisafuli, yes, Michael Crisafuli, yeah. I mean, he is, is he just, gorgeous? oh, he's so handsome. He looks Italian, you know, he looks like an Italian. Is he Spanish or? And uh, more Italian. <laughs> <laughs> But as a 12 year old, he just charms the pants off you in this movie. He is just stunning. And uh, he's just, he carries the whole film and it's essential to find someone to play Savino to carry the film. And he was brilliant. Yes, yes, he, he is. He's absolutely brilliant. And um, a beautiful boy to work with and a beautiful um, teenager. And um, it was, yeah, I, I just think he's quite special. Very special, very hooked in to um, not thinking about acting it. Um, but being it, I think. So that was always a lovely thing. And with all of the other characters in it, um, he just was himself uh, and, and, and played it very naturally. I think he's quite special. As indeed are the other actors. I think the, the cast is extraordinary. <laughs> and it was a crazy home life for Savino. The father and grandfather were competing for his attention. And mm -hmm. uh, that just, it, it just gave such a, a, a drama to the family. Mm, mm. I, 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 a family film, I think, was um, a great thing to explore. And I think it really, it depends when people watch it, um, that they feel uh, that, they, that their family is what is really the important thing. I think that the families that people have been brought up in um, tend to be a very important ingredient to the whole thing, because I think when they see the film, they either recognize those people and like them, or they find them a little bit unsettling, um, or there's all of that going in all of the characters there, I hope. <laughs> and it was so fascinating that the family 
moved from Spain to Australia and they're winemaking mm -hmm. as a family tradition. And Felipe, he was tearing the family apart, you know, due to a past family tragedy. And I'm glad there was a payoff at the end without giving any spoilers away because you just didn't understand this guy. I mean, he was tearing the family apart and no one, I couldn't understand why. Yes. And um, you understand that it's a terrible burden to carry the secret uh, that, that he carries and, and everything about him said that it was a, a very hard life that he was living. And I've often wondered, although we didn't go into it in the film, um, if one of the reasons he went from Spain to Australia is that he needed to be somewhere where no one knew his background or no one understood that background. So I've often thought that was the reason and, then, and the incentive to move to Australia for him. And this movie is so far from American life and, and lifestyle and family. I mean, even though it touches on every rite of passage, smoking, drinking, sexual curiosity. So it's, it's the, the, the message is universal. Everyone can experience this movie. Yes, I think they know, particularly with the boy, I think everybody knows that boy. Um, and they know that if he's um, not at ease with the emotional love that he's receiving or all of that, they still know that boy. All of those, as you say, everything that we go through there is just very common in terms of what kids go through and harder if you've got a father like that. Edward James almost always so stoic. Did you hear his voice when you were writing the screenplay? Uh, and, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I did. And uh, um, his voice, it, it, it was incredible that he maintained that kind of thing where he, um, the guilt was so deep that I did, don't think he really even realized how damaged he was. <laughs> Yeah, the narration with his voice was just so powerful. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's just, it's just so lovely. And um, when Edward uh, James Olmos did the, the the narration, I thought it was just incredibly special because one, what he was saying was very good. I thought the narrations were very well thought through, but just actually the timbre of his voice and how. Um, husky and how beautiful that voice is really carries the film to quite an extent. Oh, the emotion, the years, the tragedy, the love, everything was in that voice uh, throughout yeah. the film. So yeah, when it went in, it was like, oh, this is magic. <laughs> oh, Judy, what a wonderful film. It's now coming to America and I'm sure it's going to be a tremendous hit and I appreciate the time and uh, thank you so much and uh, good luck with the film. Thank you so much and lovely to talk to you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.